Oh, there you are. Yes, now then. Right, well, I'm back again, yes. I missed last week, didn't I? Yeah. I don't try and do everything every week, you know, but uh, no, I had a, a bit of a problem last week. I wasn't very well. No, I had a cold and, and uh, is that my bra strap hanging down? Oh, it's a bit annoying. And, uh, well, anyway, so, yes, anyway, I'm back. And so I'm feeling a lot better this week. No, last week, I wasn't very well at all. Me, head was a bit heavy, you know, I had a bit of headache and whatnot. And, and oh, full of cold, I was. Yeah, anyway, so, anyway, I'm back. Yes, and so what's been happening? Well, not a great deal, really. No, and, uh, no, well, uh, I went out to the market yesterday and, and, um, because I haven't been out on the, for, on the market for ages, and I thought, oh, I must go out and see who's there, and, and, uh, and have a chat with people, and, and, uh, you know, and, uh, so, yes, there was, uh, fruit and veg there, Alison was there, and Keith, showing off their wares, and, uh, Jared was there with his bakery, and, and, uh, Val and Stephen Cocker were there, and David, with his, uh, was David there? Yes, David, yeah, David, David was there, wasn't he, and Steve, uh, uh, from Ashlands, yeah, my Mercedes. And uh, obviously we had Raymond with his cakes. And uh, yeah, that was all good. The new coffee man's been uh, a couple of weeks now. And uh, so I had a cup of coffee and uh, yeah, that was good. And cheese is back and what was it? Who else? He, anyway, beside it, yeah. Anyway, everybody's there. And uh, we're missing Naeem though. He came last week and he didn't come this week. But, uh, so that's annoying. Tilly Fox was there with her clothing and, and, and wares. And so she is a nice stall, isn't she? Yeah. Good for us girls, isn't it, that one? Yes, a nice stall is that for us girls. And, uh, yeah, it's a few men things as well. And, uh, yeah, so that was this. That's the market. We'll get that over with, won't we? And, uh, yeah, so we're very good. And, uh. I went out last night, you know, and uh, yeah, another drink or two, and, and uh, so, and, uh, yes, anyway, gossip, well, yeah, I don't really know any, no, well, nothing I can mention, Ian had been in to see Jane, and and uh, he saw Delia and Jane in the cutting room, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, well, he told me, I dare to say what they said, Ooh, some of the things, oh, you wouldn't believe it. people could do things like that, would you? No. And, uh, no, well, no, no, well, it's not me to say. No, I wouldn't say. Because, you know, people get upset and whatnot. They do. They do. And it's not for me to go and, uh, go and, uh, libel somebody. And, but anyway, so, no, well, that's it. Because, you know, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, they're, they're always full of the news, aren't they? Yeah, they all always know what's going on. And, uh, so that's good, isn't it? And, uh. But, uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, yes, anyway, the, it, it, yeah, well, he told me, but uh, I wouldn't dare say anything. No, no. No, well, it's not right, is it? No, no. I mean, everybody's personal life's their own, even no matter how disgusting it is. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, sort of, you know, well, that's it, isn't it? So, and, uh, anyway, what else is going on? Well, I've got to tell you that Faker Maker, this is this Oasis tribute band, they're coming uh, on Saturday, is it the 11th? The 11th, isn't it? The 11th, Saturday 11th, into Town Hall. And so if you haven't, if you intending going, get your tickets. I know somewhere I've seen that there's only uh, eight tickets available. They've said that for the last fortnight. And it isn't true, to be fair. I think there's a few more than eight. So if there's nine of you and you want to go, there's, 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 uh, I won't go because there's only eight tickets left. It's not quite true because they're still there. There's a few there. But they are going down fairly quickly, yes. But there's a bit, there's a, I think there's a few more than eight. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but, uh, yeah, with the, the, the mounting of the numbers. So it'll be a good night with that. And um, I'll be on the bar that night, you know. I will, yes, I'll be on the bar. Because, well, I try and do my best, you know. I don't know what to wear, though. It's a big problem, isn't it? Always a big problem knowing what to wear. It didn't, didn't it? These men, they don't know, do they? No, they don't know. No, it's all these those girls, isn't it, that have to... Worry about things like that, and uh, I've got a hair there on me. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so Faker Maker, yes, that's the Oasis tribute, and uh, the tickets are available either online 
or at the community office for next uh, Saturday night. And so if you fancy a good night, because it'll be a good night, I'm sure. Be a good night out. And then, of course, we mustn't forget the Ultimate 70s on the 25th of March. Now, they'll be going quick with those tickets, definitely. Because it's a popular night, is that? And uh, they've been before. And you know, you've you seen them before, probably. If you've seen them before, you will definitely be getting your ticket. And if you haven't seen them before, well, just take it from me. They are absolutely fantastic. They are absolutely brilliant. So that's the Ultimate 70s night. And they play all the music and uh, from the from the seventies, from different bands and whatnot, and uh, they do a really good job. And it's really they're really good lads, and then they they would smashing job, and you'll be thoroughly entertained. And I'll be there that night. I might have to put an outfit on or two, you know. Yeah, I I have one or two little outfits that I sometimes put on, and uh, so. But I mean, yeah, get yourself dressed up if you can. Find something from seventies. You can always find something, can't you? You know. And there's always something that you want. I mean, you need flares, anybody? You need flares. You need some flares. Because they're back in fashion again now, you know. Yeah, some elephant flares, that's what you want. And, um, yeah, and uh, maybe a waistcoat or something like that. Or, uh, and, uh, yeah, so anyway, that's what you need. And um, long straight hair was popular in the 70s, wasn't it, for a while? And then the perms came out, didn't they? It was early 70s, it was all long straight hair. They used to iron it on, on with our newspaper. And somebody will mention it when, on, you know, in comments and whatnot, they remember the mother ironing their hair for them. And, uh, yeah, they used to put it on the ironing board and iron it under newspaper. Straight. And then, of course, it all went curly because the, the perm came in. Yeah, everybody wanted sort of bubble perms and whatnot, and looking like Kevin Caden. Yeah, and, uh, well, that's it, isn't it? And uh, so, uh, so, yes, if you, night, you want a good night out, that's going to be, a, that's an absolute must, is that one. And, um, uh, so, what else is there to talk about? Well, I don't know. I went, well, no, I don't think there's a much else. Because I can't I think there's anything else. I think Town Hall. I can't think there's anything else. Coronation plans are going reasonably well for people who are sort of interested. Because everything's going to happen on a Sunday. Yeah. Uh, well, mainly on a Sunday, I think. Because, because we don't know what's going to happen on the Saturday, coronation-wise. We don't know what time it's going to take place, anything like that. We've been a bit reluctant. And obviously the market's on as well, so... On the Sunday, we're going to do all our big parade and the church service in the morning, the big parade in the afternoon, the barbecue, pretty much like what happened last year. And I'm hoping to give a couple of bands at night, a couple this time. I've got a couple of, I've got some names um, lined up. And uh, and, and we, we're hoping to, well, if, if Parish Council's been generous enough, we're hoping to have some fireworks as well to finish the night, night off. And uh, that would be nice, won't it? So that's good stuff. So, and then some sporting things, because it's the community office's big day on the Monday. They're sort of taking over the Monday. Because we want to do some sporting things, uh, like we did last year. And uh, so, uh, and so keep your ears open. But there'll be the Cowpack competition. If you haven't got any tickets yet for the Cowpack competition, go and get yourself some. There's a few tickets. There's up to £2,000 to win, yeah. If it uh, if the cow, uh, one of them, uh, drops uh, a load um, on your square... You get two grand. Yeah, two grand. Yeah, two thousand quid. And uh, if it's on a couple of squares, um, it'll be divided between them, basically. So that's how it works. And you've got that. And uh, that'll be on the spots, on the rugby, you know, football field at the far end of the of the uh, cricket pitch there. And there'll be a car boot set. Yes, get yourself a car boot organised and get rid of all your junk out of your garage and whatnot. That'll be good, won't it? And uh, some other bits and bobs, and I think. Uh, there's hoping to some yeah it'll be nice some team events and some children's sports as well in front of the pavilion so it's going to be a nice fun day for everybody is that down on the on the wreck and um, anyway more important than all that and because uh, i know what you're going to say that judy she's been watching i'm sure and i'm sure she said wow yes isn't that a gorgeous frock that yvette's wearing well it is I have to admit, I put it on specially for Judy. It's a bit of a 50s influence, isn't there? A bit of a 50s influence. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll better, anyway, I'll better show you. So this is the outfit of the day. So, yeah, I put it on specially for Judy. So I hope she's listening. She says she, she listens occasionally. And uh, so this is it, look. And, um, and so this is what we do. And uh, as you well know, our outfit of the day. Yeah, isn't that good? Yeah. Mm. For all you 
girls of the 50s and uh, yeah so um i didn't bother with the hairstyle from the 50s but never mind so that's uh, that's quite good isn't it i'll maybe have to do a little twirl shouldn't i because you see it's got uh, we've got you've got to have the unders you know the petticoats on you know and uh, so there's a couple of petticoats on and yeah, I've got my stockings on as well, and uh, yeah, so uh, that's all good stuff. So, because people often say, "You wear petticoats underneath those frocks," and yeah, you do. You see. So anyway, so I'll do a twirl and uh, see if we can. Uh, isn't that a good look? Isn't that good? Hey, eh? isn't that fun? <sighs> don't you just hate it when I'm a bit dizzy now? Oh, don't you just hate it when that happens? You do a spin to show off your frock, and all of a sudden, you turn into Wonder Woman. Well, I suppose I'll have to go and there'll be some, something, some disaster going on somewhere. It's probably a bank robbery or something. I can go and help out, can't I? Yeah. And uh, police will want help. And, uh, and uh, do a bit of kickboxing. I can do some kickboxing in these boots, can't I? And, uh, yeah. So, uh, well, that's about it for this week. Don't you just hate it, though, when that happens? You know, you do a normal spin. I'll have to be careful in future, won't I? And um, so, um, that's about it, really. So don't forget about uh, Faker Maker next week. No, the Oasis thing. And uh, don't forget about uh, uh, the Ultimate 70s on the 25th of March. Get your tickets. Get them both at the same time. Pop in this week and get your tickets. Don't faff about. And, uh, so, ta -ta oh, dearie me got me things on there in case anybody comes and you know because you, you've got to you know dice the bullets and whatnot with them haven't you and uh, it's not easy you know being a wonder woman no no linda carter must have had an awful job you know when in you know when she wasn't acting and whatnot you know because a lot of people expect you to do these things don't you i hope you don't expect me to cut jumping out and and protecting you and whatnot but anyway so that's that today and so we'll say Good, uh, goodbye and maybe see you next week, won't we?